let's crochet a stitch pattern in the round. This is the herringbone stitch pattern. You can see it completely goes into the round. The uh, seam that's made is nice and flat on the inside, so it just keeps going round and round. We did have our previous video making it in a flat panel, so if you need that, we have links down below. So let's go right now into learning how to make the herringbone stitch pattern in crochet in the round. Welcome to Good Knit Kisses. We're all about helping you stitch your love and love your stitches. To get the written patterns, either on the herringbone in the round or this actual uh, cozy mug hug, you can get those in the description down below. There is a link there, as well as the yarn and the hook that I've used today. And you can also see a right and a left-handed video link, so click down below and get that information. Let's start working herringbone in the round. All right, before I begin, I just wanna point out that we do have a video on making this in a flat panel. So if you aren't familiar with working a reverse single crochet or the herringbone stitch or the reverse herringbone stitch in a flat panel, you might wanna familiarize yourself with that video. I'll probably go a little bit slower in that one than this one, uh, but I am going to address uh, the join or area where we're joining in the round. It's, uh, it's not continuously going in a circle, it's actually uh, connected in a circle and then we were, are going to be switching directions. And so um, we'll be paying careful attention to that. So you are gonna to wanna to have a removable stitch marker. You can um, choose to use it without. I will try and show it with one. I did mine without, but um, it's, a, it's a good thing to have, especially if you um, lose your place easily. So go ahead and get a removable stitch marker, your yarn and your hook, and we will begin. Begin with a slip knot and you're gonna chain loosely uh, whatever number of chains you want to go around your circumference. So you could uh, measure around your object, be a little bit loose, uh, or you could be continuing this in the round after you have, say, a base formed, and then you could continue uh, working this stitch in a basket or whatever you're choosing to make it in. All right, go ahead and place that on there. Chain your number of stitches. I'm going to chain 41 to make this little cup cozy, and, uh, and then we'll join here in a second. All right, I've got my chain and I want to uh, join it in the round, but you can check your uh, circumference if you're putting it around an object. Uh, make sure that it is um, nice and loose. I am not, um, I'm not pulling it uh, tightly, uh, but I also know that this particular yarn, uh, if I, um, once I get it on there, it's a little bit dense. And so uh, I need that a little bit extra. If you're not sure, go ahead and just back it off by one stitch, you know your hook through and pull it out okay so go ahead and join these in the round we'll do that now make sure you're not twisting your chain and make sure all these little humps that we're going to work into see the other video and uh, make sure they're all towards the inside come around here make sure my yarn is out of that middle area and I'm going to put my hook through this last stitch here and yarn over and pull through. Okay, I'm gonna do that to join and tighten up. All right, and on my little slip knot is just on the inside. You can you can undo that little slip knot later on if you like and weave that tail in. All right, so our work is joined and I'm gonna go ahead and chain one. And after that chain one, I'm gonna go ahead and place on my marker. You don't necessarily need it for this first stitch, but you can put it through so you can really make it stand out. Okay, so that's gonna be the beginning of our row and we're gonna work through that stitch later. So go ahead and rotate onto the back and you're gonna be going into this first little hump in the back, okay? We're not going into the chain, but this first hump. So just put your hook through there. I have to use my fingernail. It's a little tight the first time. Yarn over and pull up a loop and then single crochet. That's that's it on that. 
Now that we've gone into that little hump, it's easier to see the rest of them. You'll just sequentially go all the way around like that, except you're going to um, go into the first stitch uh, here, first bar here, okay? This bar that's closest to your working yarn is uh, necessary to go in to make the herringbone single crochet. So we go into that first bar, then we go into the next hump and yarn over, pull up a loop, make sure uh, our next loop that we pull up or this loop right here is the height of our single crochet, yarn over and pull through all three loops and then you have your first herringbone single crochet. So now we're gonna repeat that all the way across until we get here. You're just gonna go into that bar, that's that last bar here by the working yarn, go into the hump, yarn over and pull up a loop, make sure and pull that last loop up high enough for a single crochet, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Let's do that again. Go into the bar, go into the hump, pull up a loop through the hump, make it long, yarn over and pull up a loop. So you've got herringbone, single crochet, one more time. Into the bar, into the hump, yarn over, long loop, yarn over and pull through all three. Just continue repeating all the way around. Uh, pause your video and I will meet you back up a few stitches before the end and we'll finish this round together and begin the next one. See you in a moment. All right, so I am at the end. I have um, I had two more humps. I'm kind of going into the second to last. There's one right here before this stitch marker. You see that little hump in the back? Okay, so going through second to last one, pull up a loop, make a stitch, and then now I'm still gonna go through that bar here, go through the hump back here. All right, pull up a stitch, yarn over and pull through and then now we're going to um, finish this one out by going through and connecting still using that bar okay and we want to connect these and so we're going to go through the front of this um uh, this stitch right here okay uh, but this was a chain that made the height so actually uh, by pulling on it, you can see this one right here. This is the one that we want to go through. So I said that earlier. I just wanted you to notice it. So that was the um, the chain that we had pulled up. And so we're going to go into that top part. So if you want to remove your stitch marker now that you see it. All right. And now we're going to go through the top of the single crochet. We're going to pull through a loop. But in this case, we're connecting. So we're just going to pull th through this, uh, the next two stitches as I slip stitch. So we're just going to pull all the way through the bar and that last stitch. Okay. And then now we're ready to begin the next round. So we're going to turn our work and when you turn it, make it to where your yarn is towards you. We're going to be working on the inside or the wrong side and we're going to be working the reverse stitches. So the reverse single crochet, the reverse herringbone. You're going to go ahead and chain one. Okay. And you can go ahead and mark that with your stitch marker. So you know where you are. And then we're going to uh, reverse single crochet, go into the back of this first single crochet here, not below where our stitch is coming out of. So don't go into this, this one that's coming directly from our chain that we made. Uh, if you do, you'll make increases and your object will get larger. So go into the very next one. It's technically the first one and we're gonna yarn over and pull through a loop backwards, okay? It actually goes to the right side of the project. And then we're gonna yarn over and pull through all of the loops and that makes a single crochet. Now we're doing the uh, reverse um, herringbone here. So we're gonna turn it towards the other side. We're gonna go through that first bar and then we're gonna go through the back side of these stitches here, this is the next set of stitches, and yarn over and pull up a loop. You can kind of rotate it outward and swing it out so you get a loop nice on there. And then um, pull through all three stitches, yarn over, pull through. Make sure this loop right here is nice and long. And there you go, you've made one 
uh, reverse uh, herringbone, single crochet. So go uh, look onto the back of it, pick up that very first bar, go through the back of the single crochet, the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, get a nice long strand, yarn over and pull through all three and continue. Go through the bar, go through the back of the stitch, pull up a loop, make it long, yarn over, pull through all three and continue going. So I'm gonna turn this around after a few stitches and show you what this looks like. Okay, and you can see how it's now making that sort of fishtail look. You could actually just finish it here and then have a nice little fishtail bracelet if you wanted to. So just keep going in that um, order and um, pause your video. I will meet you a few stitches from the end to show you how to connect this round and move on to the next one. See you in a moment. See you in a moment. I'm on the third stitch from the end. I just want you to see, uh, before I pull through, you can see there's two more stitches here before I have my little stitch marker here. Um, so go ahead and let's see, pull through these. And I'm gonna show you how to end this round. So we're ending round two. All right, one more. I'm gonna go through that bar go through this stitch here. And uh, just want to show you before I do this, see how I've uh, kind of flipped my in the round when it's small like this? Uh, make sure that you're putting it back to where this is on the inside. The round you're working on now is the inside. So don't flip it around too much and connect it in the wrong spot. Uh, let's go ahead and go into the back of this stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. Uh, and now we're going to connect it. So we're still going to go through this last bar here. All right. And then you can go ahead and take off your stitch marker, but mark uh, maybe with your finger where that is. All right. And so we're going to go in, not that stitch, but the one right above it is the actual stitch to go in. So we're going to be going into this loop here. Mine's a little tight for some reason. So this is a stitch, this loop and that loop. <laughs> so that that's where my um, stitch marker was right before. So that's the right loop to go in and go ahead and pull up a loop from here. And then um, you're going to pull through all the loops. This is where you're slipping. So we go through that loop, but you just slip that yarn over through those stitches to complete that round. Okay. And then turn it over. And now we're going to chain one and begin round three. You're going to repeat rounds two and three to make your finished height. So to begin round three, you've already chained one. You're going to insert into the first stitch, but not, not the one below where your chain is, because that's counting as a single crochet. And go ahead in here and pull up a loop and single crochet. And you can go ahead, now that you've pulled that on through, you can clearly mark this very first single crochet like this, okay? So that's gonna be easier to go into. Next time you can just insert your hook in right where your stitch marker is, and it might be a little bit easier to see it. I just find it easier to mark it here after I do this particular row because um, it's all tight in the beginning. All right, so you just keep on going and with the single crochet herringbone. We're gonna go into that front of the stitch in that um, insert in the bar, and then go into the front of the stitch here, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three, go into the bar, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three. So instead of having to go into the hump of a back of, a, of the foundation, um, row, round three is much easier. Just going into the front of that bar, into the front of the stitch, pulling up a loop, yarn over, and pull through that herringbone single crochet. Just continue repeating it. This one should be pretty fast. It's the easiest one, I think. And so every other round, you're working either from the back or the front. Round two is always in the back. Round three is always in the front on the right side. So all of these bars are always on the, on the right side or the front of your project, okay? So that's it. So continue working that 
and I'll close this one off. If you decide to uh, end on this row, I'll show you how to close this off and finish this off. You could have a little bracelet if you want. All right, pause your video. I'll see you at the end. Okay, we've got one more stitch until the end. I'm gonna show you two things. One is if you're gonna continue and turn it over again, and then the other is if you're going to finish it off. So let's um, act like you're going to continue on, which most of you are going to do, especially for large projects. You're still going to go into that um, bar, go into the front of this stitch here, okay? Pull up a loop, yarn over, whoops, don't catch your stitch marker. Pull the loop. All right, and now we've got one more here and it's going to attach to where our stitch marker is. So make sure and go through that bar. Then you're gonna go through the front right where the stitch marker is, pull up a loop, okay? And then you're just gonna yarn over and pull up a loop. And then you're going to pull through all the loops. So to close off on any row, you're just pulling through all loops and slipping those stitches, okay? And then you're going to um, go ahead and remove your stitch marker for either one of these, remove your stitch marker, and then you'll chain one and turn, and then begin again. You'll go through and you're gonna be working in the reverse, um, just reverse uh, single crochet, not the reverse direction. Uh, make sure the yarn's in front so you can turn around this way See how the yarn's in front now? Just depends on how you turn it. And then um, you're going to go into the back of the next stitch, not this one, but the one down here, and pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through for single crochet. Then you're gonna herringbone single crochet, go into that first bar, go into the back of the next single crochet, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all the stitches. And again, you can um, put in your stitch marker on this first stitch here to mark where the beginning is so you know how to join easily or finish off easily. So I'm gonna back up and show you how to finish this off. And that was my chain. All right, let me go back. All right, so I slip stitched, I pulled through, and then now all you need to do to finish this off is you're just going to pull up a nice loop, take your scissors and cut it, and pull through. And then just uh, take your tapestry needle and go ahead and weave in your tails. And I like to uh, do something a little different. Um, so it, it looks like it's not quite joined up right here. So what I do is just grab my tapestry needle and then use my um, next stitch here. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip over this one right here and I'm gonna go underneath, pull through to the inside and then I'm gonna come around the same stitch that I came out before and pull through and then it ends up finishing off with another uh, chain stitch right here. Okay, and then I can just take my yarn needle and come through. I go underneath this stitch here and then up to the back. See, and it imitates that. And then I can just weave my tail in and bury it. And you wanna go through several stitches, make sure on the very top of it and not going through to the wrong side, you can turn it over and make sure that you're not. That way when you pull this through, the strand will be on the wrong side. And then if you can go in another direction and bury that tail, it's always best. Trim your work. And then do your beginning one and you can pull out that slip knot if you like. This little knot that's in the beginning, if you don't like it, you can just loosen it. Sometimes those extra knots bother me. <laughs> if you're like me and you wanna get rid of it, you can just kind of play with it till it comes loose. 
and then weave in the tail. There we go. There we go, and you can just pull nice and tight and then do the same thing down here. Come around, go through those stitches, and go around. And then come on to the inside. It closes any little holes that were there. And then weave in your tails. Bury those in. And you've got a completed project. So whether you've done the little bracelet <laughs> or the cup cozy or a much bigger project, there it is, crocheting the herringbone stitch in the round. Well, I hope that video has helped you today. Be sure and get the full pattern down at the link below. And I hope you enjoyed making yours. Be sure and tag us on Instagram at Kisses. I'd love to see what you make. We'll see you soon. Thanks for joining us today, where we help you stitch your love and love your stitches. See you again soon.